all around the world. Yeah. Come on. Attention, this my boarding pole. Bags up there against the wall. Step on the flight, be there by the night. Get ready, cause man, we taking off. No doubt this world is mine. Find myself when I lose track of time. No, I'm not new with that. Got my crew in the back, I feel alright. Take, take me to my city. Look at the window, it's so pretty. No need to be quiet, I'm making this live, so won't you rock with me? Just step up to the London town. What? Look at me now, I shut it down. down. Gonna make this world my own, won't stop next stop. Take this party, don't go. It's a journey and this is my dream Doing it for UK, LA, Miami Straight to the Philippines Every city is a dance floor Traveling the world like we all draw uh, That's right, I do it for be more My hometown, it's all yours We're a thousand miles away We don't care what the people say We don't care Cause love will lead the way That's right Tonight we Passport doesn't expire International down to the wire All this love got me on fire Living my dreams past my desire Let's go!
and now we're going to sing the Canada National Anthem, O Canada.
guests are beginning with Mr. Freddy Macolina, Willy Pasion, Paterno Zacarias, Raymond Castra, Ismael Calauna, and Mr. Francis Bernabe. That's, that was our Saber Art Cadets for the night, and we would like to welcome now our Visaya Women's Group of Montreal Princesses for the night. Start with... Our third princess, Miss Robin Aglagub. First is Mr. and Mrs. Robert with uh, her escort, uh, Mr. Sean, plays for Adventist Abilities in San Mariano, Isabella. Her birthday is August 8, 1990. She's a college graduate of Isabel State University and a course degree of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. She described herself as simple, kind, caring, beautiful with heart, and her motto and quotation in life is don't let your dreams remain your dreams. That was our third princess, Miss Romney Aglogo. <laughs> Please welcome our second princess, Livy Morin. Together with her escort, Mr. Stefan Morin. Our second princess parents' name is Proctoso Sanchez and Angelina Sanchez. The place of birth was in the city, the Savis Oriental. Her birthday was August 18th. 1984. She is also a college graduate of Vietnam State University and a course degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and major in Banking and Finance. She describes herself as a happily married woman, have one lovely daughter, a passionate woman, soft-spoken, sweet, of your mind, persistent, loves traveling, photography, and enjoys being in a digital creator. And her motto in life is, life is about accepting the challenges along the way, choosing to keep moving forward and savoring the journey in life. Please welcome once again our second princess, Lady Maureen. Let's give her a big round of applause, guys. Technology. 
She described herself like, I'm just a simple woman who have faith in God and determination to success, courage and independent woman. And also, she is an open and honest person who doesn't believe in misleading other people and tries to be fair in everything she do. And her motto or quotation in life is, All beauty things carry distinction of imperfection. Yeah, Lord Reyes, together with his expert, Alex Cintrigo. Her friends meet was Late father, Mr. Valentino Reyes. And mother's name is Mrs. Nancy Reyes. And her place of birth in the Philippines was in Tawan Sur, Pilia Verde, Nueva Vizcaya. She was born on June 12, 1991. She also college, a college graduate, and the name of the school was College of Baimbao, Nueva Vizcaya. The course, of course, is Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. She described like a broken pottery mended with gold. We are all kitsch chuki. It's a philosophy and art scene that British and many are honest parts of us. We should not be hidden. Right? Alejandro de Second Flores. Are they 
here. Yes, Sash. Okay. Once again, I would like to call on our Sash for Miss Robinin. Please come forward. This is Faustina Carolina and Mr. Rambo Carolina. For the Sash. Thank you, this is Faustina Parligan and Mr. Orlando Parligan for the sash. And uh, with the bouquet, we would like to welcome Ms. Marcita Tolentino, BWGM as well Association and Ms. Philippine Independence 2018 for the uh, bouquet. Yes, I'm 
Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Delancey. And we would like to call on for the bouquet, Sir Francis Bernabe. Thank you, Sir Francis Bernabe, for the bouquet. And for the first trophy, we would like to call on Mr. Dick Dahiro. Jesse Lora Reyes and Nancy Reyes. 
And for, of course, the first trophy, we would like to welcome Miss Maria Marla. Miss Leia Bartolobar and Elsa Penular. Miss Leia and oh yeah, okay, so okay, and we would like to call on uh, Mr. James De La Paz and her very own wife, of course, to. Once again, for the second trophy, Mr. James De La Paz and Mrs. Rose De La Paz. Popularity. So to give 
Yeah, because of that, so we're gonna call on uh, to award the Miss Popularity for her. Our Majesty Queen is Alma Hideo Tablada. Is uh, Miss Liam Rafael and uh, Shan Jackson. So Shan Jackson.
And also, we would like to welcome as well our Mrs. Philippines Montreal 2022 Mintanao, Marisa Obaldo. And we'd like to welcome as well Michelle May Estinopo. I am amazing by worldwide. And of course, our very own photographer for tonight is Mr. Brian and Janet Photography and of course, BJ Trendy Bazaar. Thank you. Hi, right, thank you so much. And of course, we're gonna call on Mr. Leticia Red. Miss Leticia Red.
Thank you so much. Ms. Rachel De Leon, this is Philippines Montreal Zone 2022. RS Trophy is to be given by Mr. and Mrs. Jennifer Maputo and Victor Rodriguez. Thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. Jennifer Maputo and Victor Rodriguez. Our fourth trophy to be given by Ms. Vilma Moncal, Amazing Barley Worldwide. I am Amazing Barley Worldwide. Thank you so much, Ms. Vila Mancal, for I am Amazing Barley Worldwide. And now, for our revolving trophy for tonight, we're gonna call on Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Dancia of KGOR. Okay, we got That's for our revolving trophy for tonight, Mr. Cherry Tansio of KGOR, and of course, Ms. Isabel. Once again, I would like to present to you all our candidates and pieces for tonight. Starting with our third princess, Miss Robin Agudog. Second princess, Miss Lily Morin. Our first princess, Miss Milea Lord Reyes. And of course, Her Majesty Queen, Miss Alma Ideo Tablada. <laughs> Let's give them a big round of applause, guys.
Lada and of course uh, the winning uh, record thing is Her Majesty Queen Miss Marcella Quezon 2019 Miss Philippine Independence BWGM and our for proclamation for tonight for our Queen we gonna call on Mr. Dario Boko President of CCFAQ let's give him a big, big round of applause Mr. Dario Boko
Thank you so much, our beautiful. Actually, it doesn't need any introduction, but as a call receipt to this kind uh, counselor, I would like to call on Sir Sunny Moroz. <laughs> And also, I may add, I, I pity her girlfriend because, like, uh, he's always out serving the community. And don't forget your girlfriend sometimes. Give <laughs> <laughs> some time, buddy. Okay, bud. I wish you luck. Thank you. Another round of applause for Sir James. As a young man in the community, I, I have to acknowledge all the good work that have been done by, my, by the people who have preceded me. It's amazing uh, what, what's already been accomplished here for the Filipino community, as well as for all of Cote d'Ange, and a lot have to do with the people who have put their time in to community organizations and community efforts over the past 60 years. Because this year we're celebrating FAMAS's 60th anniversary. Yes, Six, yes it's worth celebrating. It's hard to keep an organization going, and that's why beside us here, it's important to keep this organization going, not just for people that we honor and, and give tribute to, everyone here looks lovely tonight, congratulations, but also who comes next, the younger generation. You don't realize yet what you're building now is what your kids are going to need when they're your age. It's something that we're giving to the next generation and it's on them to pick it up where you left off. And that's what I try to do for Marvin, uh, the city councilor for Snowden, who served for 39 years, the longest serving city councilor in Montreal's history. He's not here tonight, but I feel the impression in, in a lot of your faces, and a lot of the way that this community is organized, and the way that you receive services, were efforts that he put in during his time of service. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's important to remember. And, and I'm going to keep it short because that's one, one thing I learned from Marvin Rotrand is keep your speech short. Yes. All right. yes, because as, as Sir James said, everyone's having a good time. I, I just want to reiterate that the Filipino community is an essential part of Montreal society, of Quebecois society, and Canadian society. It's one of the fastest growing communities in all of Canada, and it's something that your kids will see even more presence of in the future through initiatives like the Philippine Parliamentary Program, which allows your kids to go to Ottawa for a summer free and paid for in order to continue their interest if they're interested in politics. There are other such initiatives, other such ideas, if ever you're looking for opportunities, you have questions about what you deserve from the taxes that you pay, either federal, provincial, or municipal, I'm happy to orientate you and help you down that path. As the city councilor for Cote it is my privilege to serve you. All you have to do is call on me, and I'll be there. Thank you so much for having me. Keep it up. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you so much. On January 18, 1976, with a family of eight siblings, she was raised by the God-fearing parents in Northern Mindanao. She graduated in physical therapy in Manila. She is very simple, gentle, and easygoing person. She is loving and family-oriented. She likes to cook, eat, drink, dance, do gardening, and play sports. She is a very hardworking and likes to help people. She was so grateful and happy when she became the queen of Miss. Independence 2019 of BWGM. She reigned for three years due to pandemic. 
But we are not, we are not, we were not allowed to have parties and celebrations. So she raved for three years due to our pandemic during that thing. So that's why she was the Miss Queen Independence 2019 of BWGM three years of reign. And for the last part, last part, it was in Bisaya. O sa katapusan, ako ay mapasalamatan sa dito ko, sa akong supportive family and friends. O kanyong tanan ang aya, itampok sa ating coronation night. I love you all. That's our queen. BWGM is Philippine Independence 2019. Let's give her a big round of applause once again, guys. Miss Marcella Quezon.
And our pro proclamation for tonight for our Queen, we gonna call on Mr. Dario Boko, President of CCFAQ. Let's give him a big, big round of applause, Mr. Dario Boko. Good evening, everyone. Before I proclaim the Miss Independence 2023 to 2024, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our very own and energetic councillor, Sir Sunny Moros. And I also uh, congratulate all the princesses who are very lovely and very beautiful tonight. By virtue of the authority vested on me, by the, the Science Women's Group of Montreal, I hereby proclaim the Miss Independence Day, our very own Majesty Queen, Miss Alma Edio Tabla. Congratulations. Science Women's Group of Montreal, I hereby proclaim the Miss Independence Day, our very own Majesty Queen, Miss Alma Edio Tabla. Congratulations.
Give me the camera. 